Welcome in everyone. On today's episode we will be setting up a hay field, getting some fields limed, and if time permits, plant some lentils. Let's get started. As we head over here to get in the field and get it plowed up for the new hay, I want to say a little shout out to the new subscribers and those who support the channel. We truly appreciate it. Glad you're here, and if this is your first time, be sure to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get this little hay field here all plowed up nicely. We're going to eventually have a little cattle farm, so we needed to get some grass seeded. So hopefully by spring, we'll be able to get some bales made and maybe even build a little cattle barn. I'll get this done real quick and see you in just a moment. I just about got it wrapped up. Then when we were flying around the map, we discovered that over by where you can buy the fertilizer and chemical, there is a fertilizer cart. We don't own one. So I don't know if it's something you could use or not, but we're going to go over there because now we need some lime and we're going to see if we can use it. Hopefully we can use it for free. See you over there. Yeah, that fertilizer cart is right back here. see if we'll get lucky enough to be able to use it. There it is. Well, let's us hook up to it. That's a plus. Looks like it's been used. Get in here and get some lime in it. Oh, that's not letting us load any. No, that's not working. Let's run it to the house real quick. We have our own multi-fruit buying station. Run it there and see what it lets us do. See you when we get there. Well, we weren't able to use the lime from the fertilizer factory. Maybe it's because we don't own it. Maybe you have to own it to be able to use it. I'm not sure, but I do know we own this. We'll see if it lets us. Oh, no, still won't let us. So it must be because we don't own the trailer. All right, well, guess we'll buy our own. Well, I talked to the local co-op, and they told me that they would come and spread the lime on our fields. And all we have to do is pay for the cost of the lime. So I thought it'd be easier just having them do the work. So we're letting them do that. We're going to run down to the shop and we're going to buy a cedar so we can plant the grass. See you in just a little bit. Well, we really didn't have the money for a no-till cedar, but we were able to buy this K-branded uh, cedar. And it'll work. I mean, nothing big. I think it's a six meter up to the farm, get some seed in it. It's really, right now, we're really light on the nose. It likes to bounce around a little bit. Hopefully by the time we get there, the co-op will have that field finished, and then be started on the other field of ours that we'll be planting lentils in in the springtime. Co-op has one or two more rounds left and they'll be finished over there. In here. I, can... I don't screw that all up. Alright, there we go.
does not want to cooperate with me. Still a little light in the front. And once we get the cedar in the ground, it will even out. So I have to unfold it first. over to grass. Turn it on. Here we go. Going nicely. I'll get this all planted up and see you guys in a little bit. We just about got this field wrapped up. Co-op is done spreading lime in the big field. And just last little bit. Go in and advance till the next day. Right now we have those peas still in the bin from the first harvest. This time of year they're not worth anything, so we got to keep an eye on them each day hopes that their market value will go up and get something out of them. This tractor really isn't big enough to even operate this planter. So when we do the big field in the spring, we're really going to want something bigger. Let's take a look at the current market value. All right. Go down to peas. Seventy-one thousand liters, but yeah, nine hundred and forty is the best you can get. But if we look here, we're in August. This is the worst it's going to be, so it's going to keep going up. Hopefully, maybe when the market hits fifteen hundred, we'll go for it and sell it. Until then, we're just going to have to keep them and make ends meet. But we'll advance a day or two and let our grass grow in a moment. Well, here we are in August. No, I'm sorry, September. And our grass is coming up. And get some fertilizer thrown on it. We'll do that today. We'll go fertilize it real quick and hop in our tractor, go find a little fertilizer cart. I think we'll skip and not have the co-op do this one. Grab the Massey here and head up to the shop and see what they have. Maybe they have something on sale. See you in a moment. Well, the dealership didn't have anything on sale. They did sell us this little Kubota fertilizer spreader. Not too bad. It holds 10,000 liters. It's pretty good. Quite a little bit of fertilizer. Hopefully we don't need to wait for the front of the tractor, but we'll get this back filled up with fertilizer and get started. Fertilize that grass and might even do a first coat of fertilizer on our big field. It is so convenient to have this multi-fruit buying station. One of the best mods. Glad somebody created it for us. Makes it so much easier. Some fertilizer thrown on this grass field.
this wide won't take us very long at all to get through it. Someday we're going to have to buy a bigger field for grass. This one's really not going to be big enough to get too many bales off of. We won't be able to start with too many cattle. Alright, that's finished up. Gully here, maybe. All right, here. I'll finish this up. Be right back with you. Well, we'll get this finished up here. Last little bit. I don't think we're going to get around to planting lentils today. But we're glad you spent some time with us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you did, please give it a like. And until next time, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.